Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little cardigan. Now you'll see how to make the square yoke for this cardigan. I'll add it into this. I'm going to show you how to do the rest of the cardigan. I'll show you how to do the yoke and then I'm going to show you how to actually do the cardigan body on this. So I'm going to do my 48 stitches. Don't do them too tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47 and 48. Now we're going to do UK treble crochets. And if you're in the USA, that's double crochets for you. And that's the stitch we'll be using throughout this square yoke. We're going to go into the fourth stitch in the chain. One, two, three, and four. The fourth stitch. And do a treble crochet. And if you're in the USA, that's a double crochet. So those chains that we miss becomes your first stitch. So I've got one and two. We need seven along. So that's one, two. So into the next stitch. That's three. Into the next one in the chain. That's four. Into the next one. Five. Six. And seven. Now we're going to increase into the same stitch. So chain one, we're going to do our first corner. Yarn over and into that same stitch and put a treble crochet in. So count that as stitch one. So we've got two in that same stitch. Count that as your first one. Now we need to go along 11 stitches. So that's one. So into the next chain, that's two. Into the next chain, that's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10 and 11. Now you can put stitch markers in these corners or a bright coloured piece of yarn. So you can put a stitch marker in there if you're a beginner. So we've got 11 along. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Chain 1 and go into the same stitch again. We're going to do another corner. So one into that same stitch. And that you made your next corner. Now going across the front of the square, I'll pull this one over that I've been working on. So we've done these seven and we've made a corner. And we've done 11 and we've made a corner. Now we're going to go across here with 14 stitches. So you've got 7 here and 7 here and that makes 14. So that keeps this part the same width as this part here. So it depends on the garment you're making whether that becomes a front or a back. If it's a dress it becomes a front and that becomes the back of the dress. If it's a cardigan that is the back and then that is the opening on the front like some of the garments I've showed you. So we've done seven and done a corner. Then we done, we got 11 stitches and made a corner. And now we're going to go along 14, make a corner. Then we'll do 11 here, so it's the same as this side. Do a corner and then another seven. So I'll just leave that to the side just now. So remember when you do your corners it goes into the same stitch. So that counts as one. We need 14 along. So yarn over 
and into the next chain that's two into the next one that's three so we've got the stitch coming off the corner here one two three into the next one four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen so we're going to chain one and go into that same stitch and we're going to go do we're going to do eleven along have a count of eleven because we're coming down this way now so into that same stitch to make the corner and that is stitch one so that's stitch one into the next chain that's two three into the next one four into the next one it's five into the next one so when I'm doing my stitch I'm making sure I've got two little threads on the top here when I go through these stitches and that one so how many have I got here so that's my corner I've got one two three four five six into the next that's seven eight nine ten and one more is eleven oops I'll try and catch two threads of that stitch so we're going to chain one and do our last corner so we'll go into the same stitch again and that's one and we should have six left so that's one into the next chain that's two into the next one three into the next one four five and six now I'm going so I've got one more stitch on the end a bit tight and that's seven so count that one two three four five six and seven you're going to chain two do it quite loose one two you don't want a big loop running up the side here if you see how my it's really neat because I've only been doing a chain of two if you do three you end up with a sort of loop it looks like a big hole there and you don't want that so chain two and turn always just chain two and turn now into the next stitch we're going to work along till we get to our corner when you get to the corner you're going to put two treble crochets one chain and two treble crochets into the corner then you'll work along to the next corner that's here two treble crochets one chain and two treble crochets and if you're in the USA that's double crochets for you work along to your next little corner which is here two two trebles one chain and two trebles and work along to your last little corner two treble crochet one chain and two treble crochet and then work along to the end and remember and put a stitch in that little chain that's on the end that little chain of two that you've got here so we'll do this row and we need six rounds like that and that creates this square like this so into the next stitch do your treble crochet and that's a double crochet if you're in the USA work along to your first corner 
move that to the side. It's amazing what these squared yolks can make. One into that last stitch. Now we're going to do our increase in the corners. We're going to put two treble crochets, one and two, into the corner. Untangle my yarn. Chain one and put another two into that corner. One and two. We're going to work our way along, so one into the next stitch, into your next stitch, one into each stitch till you get to the corner again. And we're at the corner again, we're at that little V stitch corner. So we're going to put two treble crochets, that's two double crochets if you're in the USA, chain one and two more into that same corner. One, two, into the corner space. Then one into each stitch along to this corner. You'll do your corner along to the next one, do your corner and then along to there. So I'll get that done. You can work at your own pace. You can pause the video some more yarn, work along, so remember and put your one into that chain, your last one there, you're going to chain two quite loosely and turn and do the same again You'll increase in the corners until you've got six rows done. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So once you've got, put that aside. So you're going to do that until you've got six rounds done. And each round you'll increase by eight stitches. So your first round you should, will start with a chain of 48 and then your first row will have 50 stitches because we only went in to the stitch the once so your very first row has got 50 stitches then your second row will have 58 stitches then you when you go around again you'll be adding another eight so you'll have 66 in the third row in your fourth row, you'll have 74. On your next row, you'll have 82. And on this row, your sixth row, you should have 90 stitches all the way around. 90 stitches. So we're going to add one more round. Because when you fold it over, it's quite short here in the body. We're going to put one more round and we're not going to increase. We're only going to go into the corner with one treble crochet, one chain and one treble crochet. So I'll get my work sorted. So I'll show you how to do this last row. So I'm going to do my chain of two, quite slack, and turn. And I'm going to put one treble crochet all the way to the corner. And at the corner, I'm going to put one treble crochet, one chain, and one treble crochet. And work along. Each corner this time, just for this last row, you won't increase. You'll just do your corner. You'll put one in there, one chain, and one into the corner to make the corner. So you're only going to be increasing by four stitches on this last one. So by the time you've done row seven, you should have 94 stitches. So we've done a chain of two. So don't do that first stitch because your chain's there. Go into the next stitch. 
even though you're doing the corners, it's not really classed as an increase row. It's just one extra row for the size. So for this last row, you only go into the corner once. One treble crochet, chain one and one treble crochet and then move along, work along so you'll work all the way along there and when you get to the corner one treble crochet, one chain and one treble crochet only on this last row, only on row 7 work along and do one treble crochet, one chain and one treble crochet in the corner and do the same all the way along so I'm at my last corner so into the corner I'm going to put one treble crochet that's a double crochet if you're in the USA chain one and put one more in that corner and work along to the end and all this row is doing is giving it a little bit more of body work along to the end and that will be your yoke finished so into my last stitch So once you've got your cardigan done like this, you've got your little square, what you're going to do is we're going to join them together, fold it in half, we're going to be joining it at the corners here and here, and the corner here and here. You can if you want pin it, but you don't have to. So I'll turn this back. And I'm going to chain two. So one, two. Don't do your chain too tight. I'm going to turn my work around and I'm going to work along to this corner stitch. We're going to put one UK treble crochet into each stitch. If you're in the USA, that's one double crochet into each stitch. So skip the first stitch because you've got that one there. So go into the next stitch and we'll do one stitch into each one along so I'm at my corner I'm going to put two stitches in my corner one and two now what you're going to do is you're going to grab the corner down here down here and turn it put your yarn over and go in to that corner and do your stitch. We're going to put two into this corner and that is going to join it. And this is what you have. So we've joined that there. That's going to be your sleeve. It's going to be your armhole. And we've joined it to make the body. I'll show you that again. Oops, I lose my stitch there. I'll show you again, so I've worked along to the end, catch all of my stitch here, I'll take that one out, it might be easier. So into my corner I've got one, I'm going to put another one, so into this corner I've got two stitches, so I'm going to go down my square and catch this corner and bring it up. Now don't twist it, don't twist it, when you bring it up, put your yarn over your hook and you're going to go into that corner there, so that is your square, so into that corner and put two treble crochets into that corner and that's going to join it and your little cardigan will be inside out for a minute or two so two into that corner and that's going to give your body just a little bit more stitches 
so that it will fold over the baby properly. Now we're going to work right along to this corner. We'll put two in this corner, two stitches in this corner, and then we'll grab this corner and we're going to bring it up just the same way. So I'm going to work along here, one into each stitch. So whether you call it a double crochet or a treble crochet, do one into each stitch along. I'm going to put one into here. Now into my corner again, I'm going to put two treble crochets. And if you're in the USA, that's two double crochets for you. Put my yarn over. Now go down and get this corner here and just bring it up like that. Don't twist it, make sure you've not got it around that way and then bring it up. Just make sure it's straight and then just bring it straight over and put your hook through. Catch your working yarn and pull it through and finish your stitch. That's one and into that corner we'll do another one. And that's joined your little garment we're going to work along this side here just along here work along so we're getting along to the end make sure I put a stitch in my little chain that's here you're going to chain two one two don't do your chain too tight and turn your work around and you're going to work back the way you're going to put one of your stitches into each one along all the way along in a line now i'll show you what it looks like i'll take my hook out just now and that is you got it joined now these are your sleeve holes now you can add stitches and turn this into a dress you can put any stitch you like on it because I've got that same square and I've turned that one into a dress. I got the same square, oops, the same square, that's the back of it. I've got the same square, I joined it and I went around and around and around. And you can turn it into a dress, you can turn it into little a little romper suit. You can keep going and just go straight across, sew it straight across and make it into a little sleeping bag like this. But if you want a cardigan, you need to keep it open. So this is where you choose what to do with it. I will do other videos on the other items that I've done. So today we're doing a cardigan. So I've done my two and I'm going to done my two chain and I'm going to turn my work around and I'm just going to work all the way along and I'm going to do another nine rows. So that one is row one and I'm going to do another nine because on this cardigan I've done ten. I've done ten rows. So from here, from up here where I've joined it. I've done 10 rows all the way around, just around and back, around and back. And then I put a little edge on. I'll show you how to do that as well. And I'll show you how to do the sleeves. So you do your 10 rows, if that's enough for you. If you want to do it longer, you can do more. And then I'll come back and show you how to do the sleeves. And then we'll show you how to do trimming off the edge. So I've got the body of the cardigan done. I've also done one sleeve. Both sleeves are done exactly the same. So I can show you how to do this second sleeve. We're going to do seven rounds around this sleeve space here. So what I did was, there's our square. There is our little square that we started off, our square yoke. I've done seven rounds. And then I reduced it just on two rounds and then I put this little sort of band, like a little front and back post 
around here with two rounds. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rounds all together. Now this is when, when you do your first seven rounds, this is when you can extend it to be longer or shorter if you need it. The same with the body. Once you've done, the, I've done 11 rounds on this. I know I said to do 10, but I actually did an extra round on it. It looked a little short. Sometimes it just depends on the yarn or your tension that you're using. Just use your judgment for it. Because there's lots of times if you do patterns, I know someone will say, well, the baby that I know maybe needs an extra two rows on there because they're longer in the body. Or they need shorter arms or longer arms. <laughs> I haven't got the baby with me yet, so I've got a little while to wait for that before I find out if the arms are long enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep it with the right side facing you. Now we're going to, when we get around here, I need 35 stitches because that's what's on that sleeve. When we get around to here, I'm going to count them to make sure I've got 35 or 34 and then I'm going to crochet these this space together. I'm going to draw in so that I've got 35. Don't worry if you end up with 36 stitches or even 34. It's okay. It's okay if you've got like the one extra. This is just a very, very basic little cardigan. And we're all beginners on doing these baby things anyway. So I'm going to go into my first stitch here and I'm going to pull my yarn through. Now, even though this yarn is double knitting, it's a little thicker than the other baby double knitting that I was using. So I think that's why this one's came out just a tiny tad, a little bit bigger. So you're going to pull through that stitch and just tighten it in and chain one more. So we've got a little chain of two there. And we're going to do one UK treble into each stitch. And again, if you're in the USA or another country, this might be a double crochet for you. It's the same stitch. We just call it different a different name. So I'm going to work my way all the way around. I've got that chain of two is one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to work all the way around. And I should have either 35 or 36 stitches. A lot of it depends on the gap that you've got here. So work your way around your armhole. So, so far I've got 32 stitches. That's 33. I'll put my other two into this space that's here so what I'm going to do is quite there's my chain there now it's quite a big sort of space so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to here and pull through yarn over and I'm going to go into the next space and pull through and that should give me 34 stitches so I'm kind of just pulling that in and my last one, I'm going to do the same again with these two stitches that are here. Or it's kind of spaces. It's just where the arm, the body, all joins together. So through the hole, pull through, yarn over. This is how you reduce it in a little bit. And pull through. And that little clump will count as my 35. It doesn't matter if you end up with 36, so don't worry if you've only got the one extra. So I'm going to find my chain of two, and I'm just going to slip through and slip stitch in. Now I didn't do three because I didn't want to have a hole here. So I've got 35 stitches around. And don't worry if you've got a little gap, it's just that stitch has moved across there. So I'm going to chain two again, one, two, keep them quite loose and that way you don't end up with a, like a, it doesn't look like you've got a big gap in between here with three. So into the next stitch, I'm go that's my first round done. So I'm going to do another six rounds because I need seven rounds before I start to reduce the sleeve. 
Now, as a beginner, and I am a beginner making these little cardigans, even though I can crochet, I decided to do the reduction in the sleeve at the end of the sleeve, down here, rather than up here to confuse any beginners. But we'll learn, we'll, we'll do more, and we'll learn how to reduce going down this way and get a little smaller outlet. But that's fine enough to put your hand in there and get your baby's hand and for your baby to fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do seven rounds. I'll go around and around. I'll slip stitch into my chain of two and we'll do seven rounds. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how I reduced it slightly and how I did the little cuff. What we're going to do now, is if I get that round the right way, we're going to do two rows just to reduce the size of this in a little bit. Now this is just a very basic little cardigan. This is a very basic one that I've learned how to do. And and for this, I am a beginner. I am a beginner for doing it. I'm not a beginner to crochet, but I'm a beginner to doing little cardigans like this. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to chain my usual two. Don't do it too tight. Now, two of the stitches here, we're going to do them together. So you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook and you're going to go into the next stitch and pull through. You're going to go into the next stitch. Don't yarn over this time, just go right through and pull because we're reducing this down. Yarn over and pull through those stitches. Now it's up to you if you yarn over on that second one or if you don't. Some people do, some people don't. That way you don't get such a big bundle there, but it still reduces the stitch. Then we're going to work all the way around to this side till we get to the last two and we'll do the same, we'll reduce it. So one crochet into each stitch. So I've gone right round and I've got two stitches left. So I'm going to yarn over and go in the first stitch and pull it through. Then I'm just going to go into the next stitch and pull it through. Like, we're going to yarn over and pull through those four loops. And that should reduce that stitch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of my chain of two. Like that. So chain two and we're going to go into the next stitch here reduce this one and this one so yarn over first and go into the next stitch that's there and pull through then just go straight into the next stitch and pull through like that yarn over and pull through those four loops and that's reduced those two into one now work your way around and once we've done this row, we'll do the cuff of this little sleeve. So I've worked all my way around and I've got one, two stitches left. And that's my chain of two there. So I've got these two stitches, so I'm going to reduce it. So yarn over and go into the first stitch. Pull your yarn through. Then just go into the second stitch. Now remember, you might have a little space here because this is where we've reduced already. So go into the top of the stitch. You should still have three strands of yarn there. So go into the top of the stitch, pull through, and you've got four loops. Remember, don't yarn over with the second one. I'll show you that again. Yarn over for the first one and through the stitch. Then just go through the next stitch. Pull your yarn through, yarn over and pull through. And that should brought those two stitches together. And I'm going to slip stitch into my chain of two and finish that round. So we're going to do 
a chain of two. I'm going to do the cuff now. I've got three rounds on the cuff. So we're going to chain two, one, two. So for your first stitch, now remember that was one that we, that was one we reduced. You're going to yarn over and go in the space not through the stitch, in the space and come out the other space. So have the post of that, that clump on the front of your hook. Put your yarn over and pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. Now we're going to go the back way. We're going in the space here at each side of a stitch. Don't go into that little space, that's the top of your stitch. Go into the one that's here, under that thread. So yarn over and go around the back. Now that thread there is where we reduce the stitch, so make sure you go in the space. Go around the post and shove your hook through the other side. So the post of that stitch is on the back, so this is a back post stitch. Pull your yarn through, just pull through and up, yarn over through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. Now we're going to do a front post again, so we've done a back post there, we'll do a front, a back, front, a back, all the way around. So yarn over, so go into the space, and that space there, I'll try and stretch that out so you can see it against that black background. So you're going in that space at the side of a stitch and out the other side. Have the post of the stitch on the front of your hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over through two loops. So yarn over and now we'll go through these two but we'll come from the back. In from the back and just weave it in there. Pull your yarn through and up, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. You're going to do that all the way around. One front post and one from the back. Just weave it around that long post of your stitch. It's a really simple stitch, but it's a beautiful stitch as well. So I'm on that reduced stitch. So I've done a front stitch, so this is going to be a back stitch. Just work your way around that and pull up. So it doesn't matter if you finish it doesn't matter if you finish on a back or a front post. Now there is my chain of two. I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my chain. I'm going to chain another two, one, two, and we're on a front post. So we're going to do that again. We're going to do a front post, a back post, a front post, and a back post. And you can clearly see that your front posts are on the front. Now once you've done your first row, it actually makes the row underneath look as if it's a front and back post row as well, or it's not. So that's your first row done, and we're going to do another two. So once you've done your other two rows, it'll look like this. You've got your back posts in there, you can see it there and here. This is great for doing ribs, for hats, for cuffs of sleeves, around about the bottom, of any jumpers and things as well. It's a really versatile stitch and it also makes a beautiful blanket as well if you just do that stitch. So we're doing a front post first. We've done a chain of two and we'll do a front post. So we'll do front, back, front, back, all the way around and we'll slip stitch to a top of our chain of two. Then we'll chain two and do one more round and then I'll come back and I'll show you the finished sleeve. And then I'll show you how to go all around your little cardigan and finish off this raw edge upside. So I'm going to do my front posts first. It's quite easy, you can see where they are. 
you can see that that one's at the back so that's a back post my house smells delicious I'm having roast chicken for my dinner <laughs> Mutley's going around sniffing the air because he knows that we're going to have roast chicken So what I'll do is, I'll do my second row, I'll slip stitch to my chain of two, then I'll do my last row and I'll come back and then I'll show you how to work all the way around your cardigan. But what you have to do is, you have to do it from the inside. So you turn it upside down and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start over here with it, sort of where the cardigan folds. I want a nice neat corner here and a nice neat corner here. So I'm going to start and then have my join. Once I come back down and around, my join is going to be down here where you can't really see it because it will be on the side of the cardigan. So what you're going to do is just pick a place to start, but do it from the inside. You've got to do it from the inside. If you do it from the outside, your little your little bumpy parts of the stitch will be on the inside. So when you do this stitch, you've got to do it from the inside. So pick up your stitch and have the inside facing you. So I've got the inside of my cardigan. I'm just roughly going to pick a stitch here like this put my hook through now I'll get the end of my yarn now this stitch is a UK half treble crochet a half treble crochet and a slip stitch and if you're in the USA that'll be a half a double crochet and a slip stitch so one will be a half treble the next stitch will be a slip stitch and you're going to alternate that all around i'll show you what to do at the corners to have a nice little square corner so i've got my tail i'm leaving a tail so i can stitch that in and i'm going to chain just the one just chain one now put your yarn over and go in to that same stitch go in Pull your yarn through, you've got three loops on your hook, you've got three loops, yarn over and pull through the three of them. Now the next stitch, just push your hook through, pull through and slip through that stitch, that's a slip stitch. Yarn over into the next stitch, you're going to do a half treble crochet if you're in the, U the UK and a half double if you're in the USA a half a stitch so yarn over into the next one pull through you've got three loops yarn over and come through the three loops the next stitch just push through pull your yarn and slip stitch no yarn over the next one do your half treble crochet the next one just slip stitch don't do it too tight just a nice loose slip stitch yarn over into the next one through next stitch slip yarn over into the next stitch do your half treble or your half double whatever country you're in into the next stitch and slip and because you're doing that from the inside your little pattern shows up on the outside of your cardigan and it neatens up that edge you can see it there it's really pretty it's a really easy edge to do for blankets or clothing or anything so we've done a slip stitch and you'll know where you finish because the bobbly one is the half treble so you'll know if you've got one there, you'll know your next one's been a slip stitch. So half treble and then slip stitch. Don't do your slip stitch too tight. You don't want to pull it all in. I'm going to do that all the way to the end. 
I'm going to do that right along the bottom of my cardigan to the end. Once I get there, I'll show you what to do to make a nice square edge. So I'm at the corner and I've done my half treble crochet or the half double crochet, whatever country you're in. Now I'm at the corner. I don't, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a slip stitch in and then I'm going to put a half treble crochet in there. I'm going to chain one and then in the same space do a slip stitch and then do another half treble crochet and then work your way up the side. I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. So what you're going to do up the side, because it's treble crochets like this, we're going to judge it and we're going to put a half double crochet and a slip stitch into each of these treble crochet spaces. So I've done my double crochet. So in to the next stitch here, I'm going to do my slip stitch because I did a half treble so I'm doing my slip stitch and into that same one I'm going to do my half treble. Move to the next space, do a slip stitch and a half treble. Move to the next space, a slip stitch and a half treble. Now I'll show you what it looks like. So you get a nice square corner and you've got this nice pattern on the edge. Look at that, look at that lovely little edge. Now I've kept a part here, where, because I started further in, that's what it looks like without the edge and that's what it's like with the edge, it's so pretty. So into this stitch here, we're going to do our slip stitch. Now skip this one here. Now you've got like a little V stitch here, skip that and go into there with your half treble. So you're skipping one stitch in that V part and go into there and do your half treble. Then do your slip stitch, then your half treble into the next stitch. Work along, slip stitch, half treble. I'll show you what it looks like when you skip that one. When you skip that little stitch, it keeps that nice square edge here. So that very, where you've got two stitches joining, skip that stitch. So do your half treble crochet, skip a stitch, and then do your slip stitch into the next one. It's that very, very corner point here. I'll show you here this very corner point, this stitch right here, that's the one you skip. So you'll put a double crochet there, skip that stitch that's there and do your slip stitch into the next space. So it's, if you're on a double crochet, double crochet, skip that corner and go into the next one. So we'll be working along this way. So you'll work that space, skip that corner, and then work the next space. So I'll work along, and I'll show you that when I get to the other side. But make sure you keep your slip stitches slack. Don't do them too tight or it'll pull your cardigan in. So in my corner, I'm at the next corner here, if you can see this, you've got two corners. So we've done that one and we're going to do this one. And again, it's you're going to miss that space, so miss that stitch there. So on this occasion, I did a slip stitch there. So you're going to miss that one and go into the next stitch along and for on this one it's a half treble. So just keep your pattern going. 
but when you're at these corners of the neck you're going to skip that corner space this is what you're skipping so you're putting a stitch in there you're skipping that corner and put a stitch in there and that keeps that corner shape like that I'll work along here a little bit so I've done a slip stitch my half treble a slip stitch not too tight for the slip stitch so I've got a half treble and a half treble so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to put a little slip stitch in and then this half treble I'm going to just slip to it pull that stitch up cut my yarn pull it through oh that's an old tail I've got these two tails to sew in that one and then I'll get my darning needle on, on the inside of the cardigan I'll sew these two ends and I'll bring that one through there bring that tail through this side and I'm going to stitch them in under there so you can't see it and look at that that is that finished now it doesn't matter because you've got these big spaces you don't need a buttonhole if you're I don't know what size you put the buttons on <laughs> it used to be I think it was on the left side for a girl and the right side for a boy but it doesn't matter these days so if you're going to put your buttons on then you'll just sew your buttons to one side and when you close it just use one of if you line it up and put your button there and then you can just close the button off on the same corresponding treble crochet hole or you can just put one up here you only need to if you want just put one button there and button it in through there and leave this part open it's up to you I need to sew my edges in and that is a basic beginner a little cardigan now look at that your squares have stayed nice and neat because we skipped that one stitch right in that V joint in there and look at that now if yours turned out a little too tight then go up one half size hook and then do your edge and then that will keep it nice and slack to be able to do that little half stitch and a slip stitch and it gives it this nice edge and look at that I've got I'll need to go and find my buttons I have got a lot of buttons as well I'll need to go and find some of my buttons and put some buttons on I'll put some buttons on I think I'll just put the one button on I'll just put one button on there you can put little snips on if you want you can sew on little those little snips or you can get velcro things these days now as well or even a little hook you can put a little one of those little eyelets and hooks on but i'll put one little you can even just leave it like that like a little open cardigan but you can put buttons on if you want to put your buttons on like that it's really pretty so it doesn't matter which side it goes on to it doesn't and look at that, that is your first, oh, my first video of our little baby cardigan. If you want to see anything else done, I'll show you some of the other things that I've got done. I've got this little, this other little cardigan done that I've showed you already. Now this is the one that I showed you at the beginning. This is the, the little simple one. I just did a treble crochet around this one. I done a treble crochet row. At the corners I put one treble crochet one chain one treble crochet and the same here at this strange corner that goes in the way the v type corner i just skipped a space i skipped a stitch it's there done the one either side of it and around my sleeve is a little bit longer on this one it's a whole the cardigan's bigger all together because this one was done with a four and a half crochet hook and you can see the difference in the size this one is a UK three and a half I don't know what that is in US terms and that is the difference in this there's that's a way up at the back so that's the difference 
in this this one just by changing the hook size so just by changing the hook that's a 5.5 so that's my four and a half that is a seven if you're in the usa i think this is a uk three and a half i don't know what the equivalent is but it's the same amount of stitches it's the same amount of stitches on each cardigan and that one made that larger size cardigan and that one did that so that's not to three months and i think this one could be like three to six months this one and if you want one that's even bigger then go up to a five or a five and a half and that'll give you one that would take you up from sort of six months to 12 i think but it depends on the size of your baby as well the baby that you've got in mind it will depend on that and then I'll do another video and I think what we'll do is we'll do from a one to two year old we'll I'll work out the stitch count to do this square even bigger and then I might be very daring by the time I get to the winter and I might do an adult cardigan and show my sister Sandra how to do a big one we'll, we'll work out the stitch count for the square and it's going to be so simple after that so thank you very much for watching please subscribe to the channel it's completely free to subscribe to the channel if you click on the bell icon youtube will tell you when i put up a new tutorial please leave a comment if you want to see more baby items being made rather than just the blankets and if you want to help with a small donation you can go on my coffee page down underneath in the description it is completely free to subscribe to the channel but if you want to buy me a cup of coffee which the money actually helps to keep me running of the channel it helps with all the electricity the time it takes me to make these videos as well because it is now my full-time job so if you click on that coffee link underneath you can also just follow me there so once again thank you very much for watching and happy crafting happy baby making uh, happy happy baby cloth making <laughs> and i'll see you all again soon goodbye